we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Um, Rawas needs to... Oh, I, 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 I keep thinking he needs to do a ping check. I just... I almost said it again. I've actually written it in the chat a couple of times. But he doesn't need to do a ping check. He's in Europe. He's fine. He's in Copenhagen. All right. Good luck. Here we go. Game one. Um, are they spawned? Okay, they have indeed spawned in the right place. Let's get this one underway. Rawas versus Moxie on low ping for the first time ever. They have played 20 times in the past with Moxie leading the all-time series score between the two at uh, 19 wins to Rawas' 9 wins. But out of the last five, if I'm not mistaken, Rawas has taken four of them. So although Moxie all-time has the winning record, recently Rawas has had a good um, match up against him. Let's see. Now that we've got an even ping situation, if Rawas will be able to show his true level. Fake wall challenge there by Rawas. Moxie having to wait for this ball to come towards him. Just with a little wave dash shot there, but had the follow through bump threat and Rawas taking his time now in the back corner. Does the game sound good? Spam one's in chat by the way if the game sounds at a good level. Rawas gonna let this one bounce on target. That's not looking like an easy save for Moxie. It's in for 1-0. Moxie, of course, more than capable of keeping that out of the net, but it was a Pretty difficult one to clear. He almost did it, to be honest. Not a bad try. In it goes. 1-0 to Ruas. It's just a little bit low. It's probably better if it's a little bit low. Because sometimes... Um, for some reason recently, sometimes my microphone's changing volume. I don't know why, so I'll leave it as it is, if that's fine. Can Vitality win the Major? I think, yeah, probably. <laughs> Nice challenge by Rawas. We need to see Moxie POV on this and see, was it blatant? Was it hidden? Yeah, it was pretty blatant. So Rawas is just challenging in plain sight there, uh, sending Moxie a message. Of course, you have to do that when you're up against Moxie. He's got the scariest flick in the world for 1v1. Moxie might have just given this away. He does get back to it pretty quickly, but Rawas will not be too disappointed about exchanging blows. That's going to be a bit annoying for him though as it bounces in off the 50-50 and into his net. Moxie did a good job there. Trips Rawas to the back corner and forces the issue immediately to get within one in game one. It feels weird actually now that I've been casting a bunch of these 20 minute games so I feel like there's ages left but actually we're quite a lot of the way through the game already. <laughs> I'm going to need to recalibrate here uh, so I don't forget about how tense this can get in a, in a normal length game of 1v1. Roas having to play that early. Oh, Moxie's massively beamed it though. Roas with the openest net of the day. And what on earth happened here for Moxie? I mean, Roas had to play the ball early in case Moxie was coming in for a demo. He tried to just play the ball, the ball off the wall there. Completely misses. That is a disaster for the Frenchman. Wave dash recovery kickoff for both. Ruas can thinking about contesting that back corner boost. Moxie is just going to take the ball to mid right instead. And here comes Moxie with a ceiling shot. Jumps right back down onto the ground. Fails to catch the ball though. Ruas spots that heavy touch, closes the distance. Ruas is looking very aggressive in this matchup. You know, he's known as a defender predominantly. And uh, he's known as probably the best reactive player in the world. But he does like to go a lot of the time. This time the mid boost respawn there. Ruas having to react uh, to this flick. And he does. And he's done enough with the early challenges earlier in the game that Moxie can't wait until point blank range to let go. Just in case Ruas is in fact challenging. That's a much better flick by Moxie, but it's too high. He needs to be hitting that from a further distance if he wants that to drop in front of the net. Ridiculous power by Moxie as he looks for his second goal of the game. He's doing laps around the pitch right now. Ruas trying to slot himself into the play. He's going to need to be careful here as he rebounds off his back board. He's not actually going to need to do too much, in fact, because Moxie has kind of helped him clear it. That might be a possession changeover. Ruas from the ground over the top of Moxie with not much boost. He just waits for the ball to come to him, but he's hit the bar. Moxie with a great clear as well. Can he counter? No, he can't. In fact, he's lost the mid boost. It's been stolen right in front of him, and he's trying to work his way into the back corner here. Ruas faking a couple of jumps. Now he does get a good clear. This will threaten Moxie, force him to back down. Heavy hit by Roas. That forces Moxie to land very awkwardly on the crossbar. He did phenomenally well to salvage that. It looked like he could have tripped over there. 
And Roa solidly behind the ball with a 50-50. Bates in Moxie once again. Is the ball going to beat Moxie to the net? No, it's not. It's going to be another back corner boost for Roas though. This one in Moxie's back corner. He grinds completely to a halt. No boost to his name. Can he still get power on the flick? Low 50s instead. Roas tried for the bump. Got jumped over there. Still just one goal for Moxie. Fake challenge by Roas. And now the shadow is saved to the top corner. Moxie backs off towards the midfield. Rawas thinking about the ceiling challenge. Fakes it. Moxie made an early move. Thought that was a real challenge coming towards him. Convincing stuff in defense by Rawas. And now Moxie might have ongled. He's gone right through the ball. He's got to catch up here in a hurry. And he does. What a save. In fact, he's kept control of it by hitting it off the inside of his own post. Moxie in his comfort zone. Rawas pounces on him. And he keeps Moxie to just that one goal. Well, if it's difficult to score against Rawas when he's on 80 ping, look how much harder it is when he's on even ping. Moxie can't get this one through either. That somehow landed on top of Rawas. I think Moxie bumped Rawas into the crossbar and then Rawas bounced off the crossbar into a save. You know, it's just dawned on me how difficult it's going to be to bump Rawas as well. If you know, he's, he's, he's the best defender against air dribble bumps, amongst other things. And now he can do it with even faster reaction time. Rawas with another goal line save, perfectly deflected into the back corner. It's all but over in game one for Moxie. He's trying to get back to the center circle here. A goal now would give him a chance, but it's not coming in time. It's Rawas convincingly in game one with a score of four to one. He really does appear to be built different on low ping. Oh, of course, I've actually got to edit the series score as well now, don't I? With uh, <laughs> this, this not being one 20 minute game. This is game two now. Roas only conceded once in five minutes against Moxie. That's one of the best records anyone's ever had against Moxie's offense. He's one of the highest volume attackers in the game. Now here he comes from distance with a ton of momentum. It's a ceiling shot by Moxie. It's off the bar and out. And Roas is recovering quickly here. Moxie tried to chip it over him. He couldn't do so. Nice little wave dash on the landing there by Rawas as he now gets into the air himself. Low flip reset. Faked and popped over the top of Moxie. Well, he's not having a lot of problems going forwards. He was convincing enough with that. It really did look like he might be going for the flip reset. Moxie thought so as well. It was just a mind game as Rawas opens the scoring in game two. 22 boost here. Moxie's got to be careful. He did respect Rawas. Potentially going for the ball there. So Rawas now defends back corner boost, keeps his car alive and gets going in offense once again. Delayed flick. A super delayed flick by Rawas, in fact. Now he's in trouble, potentially, as Moxie tries to fake him out. Rawas completely unbothered by that, though. It's turned into a bit of a flick 1v1. And it's Rawas who scores first. Well, how many people would have guessed Rawas would be the player? scoring with a, with a flick. Well, Moxie invited it. He did leave the net wide open. And it's not like Rawas has got a bad flick. Not even close. Moxie's having real problems right now. Scoring, and he's having real problems. Stopping Rawas from scoring. Rawas with the ceiling challenge. He fell off the ceiling there, so he had the dodge. Nice recovery by Moxie to deflect the ball into the back corner. Rawas backs off to mid. Fakes a challenge, switches defensive sides. He's actually shadowing on the far side here. Gets caught, and Moxie will open the scoring for himself with an air dribble demo. It's interesting to see Roas actually switching sides. That's not the conventional side to shadow on. You usually want to shadow on the far or the near post. Roas with the positional defensive mix up there. And can Moxie equalize? Well, it's actually going to catch this on his back wall. Instead of letting that hit the crossbar, he preferred to catch it and then play it again. That gives him more control of the following play. It looks like Moxie is going to wrestle possession back off of him and get going straight back towards Rawas. Low 50. Defended well by Rawas. Moxie was coming straight for him there, so Rawas no doubt was worried about another air dribble bump. Oh, well played by Moxie. Looking to counter down the middle. Has he got the pace? No, he doesn't. Rawas trying to threaten the counter-attack by passing to himself off the inside of the post. Moxie respected it. Had he gone for a boost seal there, he would have been scored on. Rawas opting for the wall as his position in defense. Another good flick by Rawas. Thought about boost stealing. Instead, 
loops back around and takes the ball. Now he has gone for the boost. This is dangerous by Rawas. The recovery is just good enough. And that was almost an opening for Moxie to score at the other end. Tripped by Moxie. Little break check there just to force Rawas to land on him. It's little things like that that can completely turn the tide of 1v1. Rawas might have too much pace here. Moxie with a key save. Clean landing as well. He's going to be looking to chase down Rawas before he can get too close. But Rawas does get a clean turn. It's an air double 50-50. And Rawas recovers the better of the two. And effortlessly deflects it in as the ball lands on him. And it's 3-1. Rawas actually with a very interesting 50-50 there midair. He didn't go too high on that one. I think he was prioritizing the recovery by almost bouncing off the underside of the ball. Even if he'd lost the 50-50, he would have had a decent chance of getting back into a good position. Rawas there trying to force an own goal. Moxie covered it. Misses the mid boost though. He's going to have back corner to play with. But here comes Rawas threatening the demo from behind. Ops out of it. It's another game where Moxie's only scored once. And that's not going to work. In fact, Rawas hasn't just saved that. He's landed clean on the back wall. And now he's counter attacking. Boost steal for Rawas. And he must be absolutely delighted that the boost steals are actually working here. Because no doubt when he plays on high ping, that's one thing that just doesn't make sense. You get the boost on your screen. Not on the other, not on the server. Hogo shot, shut down. Moxie trying to be as creative as possible. Rawas has got plenty ideas going the other way. Oh, huge pre-jump save by Moxie. Surely the second goal of the game for him. Takes one touch and sinks it. And he will score twice in game two. It's all about the offense for Moxie. If he can get that rolling, he does have a good chance here. We all know what he can do. When he starts playing at his best, that's not the kickoff he wanted to see, though. It's gone straight into his net. Rawas with a huge win on the inside. Moxie playing for the side uh, um, hits on the ball. Thought Rawas would be doing the same thing. And all that hard work completely nullified by the kickoff goal. Rawas with a beautiful play. With the recovery, he's just too quick. Moxie didn't see him coming. Rawas passes to himself with just 12 boosts. Another little pad pick up on the way. And away he goes. Huge pre-jump by Rawas. He gets back down so well from those because he did go quite high from the pre-jump. And it might not look like much, but try that in your own games. If you try and pre-jump somebody's flick and they don't flick it, actually just flying back down and getting a solid 50-50 on the ball is incredibly difficult. Moxie's going to be frustrated here. Oh dear, it's all gone wrong. He's lost the back corner boost, but only because he missed it. And he can't get a demo on Rawas. Despite multiple attempts, he's fallen over as well. Rawas trips him and makes it 6-2. And Moxie calls next. Rawas... Up two games to zero. And uh, this does not look good for Moxie. Rawas is confident. It's clear to see. Yeah, it's always been a question that kind of lingered in the air whenever the KSA players, whenever the SAM players play on the wrong server and actually win. You know, looking at uh, players like Yan in the past, Diaz, especially effective, KV1. I think KV1 and Diaz probably the most effective South American players with uh, high ping. Yeah, a whole host of players from Saudi Arabia have dominated with 80 to 100 ping. Now, we're getting to see what Rawas can do with 32. He just seems very, very confident, Rawas, in every engagement. There's no hesitation. Why would there be? What he sees is what the server sees now. Flip reset to the top corner. Another very nice recovery by Rawas. Using those wave dashes as he... Kicks up the front end of his car intentionally as he lands. Something I'm sure we've all done by mistake. Moxie, double jump shot, 1-0. Saw the opening. And he stuck it straight in. It's careless by Rawas. He thought by staying near the ball, he might deny Moxie possession. But Moxie easily able to go in there and take that one for himself. And again, it's just another kickoff goal for Rawas. It's a real shame for Moxie. He's getting key goals, 
Scores to go within one last game. Gets scored on with a kickoff goal. Now he scores to take the lead for the first time in the series. Gets scored on with a kickoff goal. Not two, though. That's, uh, oh, Moxie lost the race to the back corner boost again. That is not an ideal situation. It's far from it. It's 2-1 Rawas. Oh, he committed so heavily for it. Look how close he was to picking up that boost. That's painful. He was beside it. And then he was... <laughs> he was in front of it. And he just couldn't figure out a way to flip on top of it. Still Moxie with a good position. Looking to tie the series again. Looking to tie the game, I should say. Low 50 goes through. And Moxie does score his second. He has to stay in touch here. He has to keep it close. Rawas has been clinical. All series long so far. That's more like it for Moxie. Not quite on target, but that's guaranteed goal if he gets it a bit more to the left. He's trying to dribble again from distance. Rawas shadowing extremely close here. Look at the patience as he deflects the shot into the crossbar. And I don't think any other defender in the world is really going to wait that long before making a move. Moxie forced to shoot early here as he puts it wide of Rawas' ceiling challenge and he can't get a good follow-up play. And neither can Rawas, who's lost control. He's managing what little boost he has exceptionally well, though. And he will get a turnover of possession. Rawas wants a favorable 50 here if he can get one. Moxie declines. Let's dribble it back to mid. I think he wants to keep the pressure on here. Doesn't want to go all the way back. He knows Rawas is on low boost for now. Another irritable bump. Another save. Well, Rawas must have got the back corner boost as it spawned. Huge read on the inside of the post bounce there from Rawas. But he's missed the back corner boost grab. Moxie can move in again for the play. A lot of possession for Moxie. A lot of territory gained. But the quality of the shots for Rawas has just been a different level. Again, he's just too good. Flip reset lob. 3-2. What does Moxie do in this matchup? He's having even more difficulty than usual. Scoring on the most difficult player to score on in 1v1 history. Look at the extra power slide on that turn there by Rawas. He wanted that wider turn. Usually it's a disadvantage to do that because you turn more slowly, but he wanted a bit more space and he gets it with a very creative way. Air double dunk by Rawas. Too strong. And it's 4 2. Well, the aerial advantage does seem to be firmly in control of the Saudi Arabian Pro. Moxie having a bit of problems picking up back corner boost as well. It's been a pretty consistent issue for him this game. Again, patience by Rawas. He's playing with the audio cue there. Didn't hear Moxie jump, didn't hear him boost, didn't hear him flip, so he's not panicking. He knows Moxie can't be on top of him. Oh, what a reset by Rawas, trying to wrap himself around that. And puts it on target. Moxie might have got him here, though. Good boost management by Moxie. And he slots it from distance to go back within a goal. Exceptional defensive play by the Frenchman. Quick note, by the way, looks like we will have a 2v2 show match coming up after this. I believe Jan and Lost are around, and uh, Naupo's confirmed himself and Ahmad are down to take them on, so that should be coming up after this match is done. Oh dear, Moxie's completely botched that one. Rawas with a fifth goal. He's ahead by two again. Where did Moxie go on this play? The ceiling challenge didn't look like that bad of an idea. Oh, he just got the angle all wrong. I mean, Rawas was coming in a bit lower there, so I don't know um, if it was the perfect play to go for. Ceiling challenge, of course, is usually better the higher the opponent is and the closer the opponent is to the ceiling. It can work in those positions. It's not like it's a completely terrible play. Oh, good fake by Moxie. Look at this. Completely fools Rawas on that one. And he's within one goal again. It's a must-win game, it feels like. And it's his best game so far. Dalakau, thanks to the Prime. Matt Sonic, thanks to the Prime. Young Andrew, thanks to the nine month tier one. Oh, what's heard by Rawas? Well, well, well. That is a perfect little tip on the ball. As he goes all the way to Moxie's goal. 
before Moxie can recover. Couldn't even get away from him, but that little pop to, s to send the ball forwards off his own back wall. I mean, it's not just a defensive move that. You can use it with attacking intentions, of course. As Rolas showed there, absolutely no respect for Moxie in this position. Zero boost on the turn. Rolas lets his uh, presence be felt. True authority in the position. A dominant series so far for Rolas. Of course, this will always this will open up the question. I don't think it's um, I don't think it's a, 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 a really fair question to ask after only one. Um, half of a series has been played, but I already know it's going to happen. Um, I know it's going to be talked about because it's been lingering for so long. And that question is, yeah, is Ruas, is Loping Ruas the best ones player? Because every time he's in one's tournaments, in one's show matches, he's usually got high ping. And he's pretty pretty good. He's established himself as number one with high ping. So is Loping just the best? I mean, who can beat this guy? Maybe Moxie, let's find out if he can conjure something up in the final 13 seconds. Needs a kickoff possession play. Goes for the delayed kickoff. It's not worked out well at all. Roas goes straight through him and bangs in an eighth. And that should be game and quad match point for Roas on the board. All he has to do is hit the ball here pretty much any direction at all. And it confirms it. Moxie had more success going forward this game, but the same outcome. Still a relatively comfortable win for Arawas, who looks pretty unplayable right now. Just checking to see if the two show match coming up next is, um, if it, well, if those teams are available to start sooner. Because I told them um, that we could do it 30 minutes from now. This is looking like a sweep, <laughs> so we, we may be able to start earlier. Let's see, can Moxie come back? What shot to kick things off? Moxie's not done yet. That is a perfect ground shot to squeeze the ball between Rojas and the crossbar. <laughs> I'm not messaging because I know the series. I'm messaging in case it's over. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's over. I, I know not to count out Moxie. He is uh, obviously a very momentum-based player historically, and when he can get that momentum rolling, he may have the highest peak. He definitely has the highest peak ability in several categories for 1v1, I think. Um, this all-around ground game might be one of them. Rawas has missed that ceiling shot. He's not going to get the boost seal in the back corner either. Moxie with a lot of space to work with. Well, pretty much any option available to him. He probably won't want to go off the wall from uh, that boost position. Rawas trying to recover. With a flip reset on Moxie's car. Fake wall challenge gets Moxie to bite. Rawas' fake challenges have been very convincing today. So many trips in the matchup. Moxie recovering well from that one. Kind of being boxed out of the play for a moment though. Now completely boost starving Rawas. Rawas has to be careful to get it across his goal. He does get it across the goal without Moxie dunking on him. 23 boosts for Rawas. Moxie floating in for the play. Again, Rawas shows such a mastery of getting goal side of the ball, even in these awkward positions. So once more, he tries to get Moxie off the ball. Moxie making this boost advantage to really shine, though, as he demos Rawas and takes the two-goal lead for the first time in the series. Moxie with another boost advantage. This has been the key to success so far in this game. He lands on Rawas again and immediately starts attacking. This is a scary angle for Rawas. Huge shot by Moxie. Makes it 3-0. Well, Moxie has completely controlled every kickoff possession here. And although they've taken different times to result in a goal, they've all resulted in goals eventually. Moxie getting a flip reset. And Rawas are there. Won't be enough. So Rawas trips him up. And opens his uh, account for this game. Fairly simple trip for uh, Rawas is all he needed. Rawas with the boost seal. Jumping to avoid the impending demo. Of course, Mac Moxie's been extremely aggressive with those. Rawas now trips him up again. There really have been so many trips in this, uh, this series. Rawas 
misses his long range air dribble. Wanted a, a high first touch. Again, Moxie using the trip onto Rawas, but that one has not worked out at all. Rawas showing one of the things you can do when your opponent uh, tr tries to trip you up, and that is just completely ignore it. Whatever you do, don't let them spin you out. You just have to try and make sure that you don't steer and mess up your own landing. You just let the momentum take him forward. Beat Moxie to the ball. One reset for Rawas. Second reset. Faked and in. I think Rawas went for a reset there. But it works for a mind game, even when it fails. And yeah, he looks like he jumped off the ball there, but that probably made it even worse for Moxie because he would have heard Rawas uh, jumping to really make the fake even more convincing, accidental or not. Rawas opens up the angle on the dribble. Big uh, volley follow up, but Moxie has done well to keep that one out of the net. Rawas backs down, tried to pick up the mid boost on his way there, didn't get it. Oh, what a recovery by Rawas. That is ridiculous to both save this and just effortlessly keep on rolling. <laughs> how, did he, how did he just stop Moxie's last second 50-50 on the goal line and then just continue moving as if nothing happened? I mean, most players would have just straight up lost that 50-50. Rawas wins it with momentum. Yeah, probably worth watching that one on Moxie POV. The last misses the demo thanks to Moxie's dodge there. Both players thinking about pumping the other as they met in Moxie's half. Now Rawas with the space to go for the full pitch air dribble. One heavy touch and another one. A reset to follow Shirley. There it is, and it's perfect. 5-3, Rawas from his own backboard. Takes the ball for a walk through the air. Good luck saving that one. Minute and 51 to go. Moxie facing one of the toughest comebacks in 1v1 history right now. And it could all start now. Pace gets the job done. When Moxie has won kickoffs in this game, he's been able to make them count. Will Rawas respond with a kickoff goal? Yes, he will. Once again, it's heartbreak for Moxie. As soon as he seems to get a foothold in the game, Rawas scores immediately. 6-4. Moxie having to dig incredibly deep just to hold on. Rawas staying in the back corner here with very low boost. Now he backs off to mid, Moxie. The deep ceiling shot. He's way away from the wall, though, so Rawas can't really think about challenging. Ground shot by Moxie. Rawas passes to himself off the underside of his own crossbar. Now, I, I, I'd call that just a save for any other player, but obviously for Rawas, he is trying to control that. <laughs> it's just unbelievable, the control he has in defense. And now he deletes the ball in the top corner of Moxie's net. He shows that you don't need to use the modern techniques to flick the ball. Good old faithful. Still works at the highest level. Moxie needs to get control of the ball. Or it will be Rawas winning with a sweep. Moxie dives in. That's a great challenge. And he has not read it well, though. Oh, he panicked as the ball bounced downwards. And he says, GG's, you're insane. It has been a fierce rivalry throughout the years between these two. But their first meeting... On low ping is a dominant win for Rawas. Good luck in the major, he says. Class for Moxie in defeat. Uh, that's uh, yeah, it's really classy. I'm sure that's not going to be a fun one for him. Um, yeah, thanks to him for playing. Always exciting to, to watch Moxie's games. He's such a unique player. And, uh, you know, the fact that he is, I think, best in the world at several aspects of 1v1. It's just uh, it makes it a joy to watch. But yeah, Rawas is uh, he's best in the world at other aspects of 1v1. And those aspects are pretty hard to beat when, um, when Rawas is putting it together. Yeah, truly a dominant display. Thank you to Rawas and Moxie both. And uh, indeed, good luck to Rawas at the Major as they do continue their preparation 
in Copenhagen.